Well, remember earlier this week when it was really cold here? For a brief time this week, a place at Colorado School of Mines in Golden was actually the coldest place in the known universe, but it had nothing to do with our weather conditions. I got a tour of what's called the Big Fridge, built by Maybell Quantum Industries in Denver. This isn't like any fridge you've ever had in your house. It's a dilution fridge, which is used to house quantum computers, which require these extremely cold temperatures. How cold are we talking? Well, some perspective here. The coldest temp ever recorded on Earth was negative 89 Celsius in Antarctica. Deep space? is about negative 269 degrees Celsius. Inside the bottom of this fridge, it can get 300 times colder than that. Absolute zero is the slowest that anything can go. It's where all motion ceases. And at the bottom of this system, we're a few thousandths of a degree from absolute zero. Wow. <laughs> Uh, so Maybell expects to ship more than a dozen of these fridges to customers this year. And those customers will use it to solve problems that would take the most powerful supercomputers in the world billions or trillions of years to solve. Quantum computers can do things that are literally impossible for classical computers. They'll unlock the potential to cure cancer, to end infectious disease, to turn back the clock on climate change. But in order to unlock that potential, we need to get better at building them. Quantum computing isn't there yet, so that's where the fridge comes in. Uh, because quantum computers are really finicky. They don't like outside interference from the environment. They need a highly controlled environment to maintain their quantum state. And this fridge creates the best possible environment for quantum computers to function. Previous dilution refrigerators might have taken up a whole room, but this one really is just the size of a home refrigerator. It opens and closes just like one. It just wouldn't be useful on food, Katie. Uh, inside there, uh, yeah, they're gonna put a quantum computer and, and let it get to work. and. Hopefully see a lot of these advancements in our lifetime here.